Let's begin with the next topic in projectile motion, which is calculating the equation of trajectory of a projectile. So first of all, let's understand what is the meaning of trajectory. Trajectory is the path taken by any projectile in motion. In general terms, the word trajectory means path taken by any object in motion. But when we are dealing with projectile motion, we will concern, uh, we'll concern ourselves with only the motion path of an object which is undergoing projectile motion. Now what exactly is equation of trajectory? The equation of trajectory is the relationship between positions along y axis with positions along x axis at any point of time. So we create an equation in which we have y as a function of x. That function can essentially be plotted and by looking at the graph we can comment on the trajectory of the object. In this case it will be object undergoing projectile motion. So how exactly do we obtain this equation? The only thing connecting the activities happening along x axis and, and happening along y axis during a projectile motion is time. Because the same amount of time that passes along x axis, the same time passes along the y axis. So the first thing we do is we write position along y axis in terms of time using second equation of motion sy is equal to uyt plus half ayt square. And then we calculate positions along x axis also in terms of time which is sx is equal to uxt plus half axt square. And then ultimately we eliminate the variable of time, we eliminate t between these two equations and then we create a relationship between x and y that becomes our equation of trajectory. It is a very straightforward method. Now let us see how we exactly do it. So now if I write displacement or positions uh, along the y axis, it will be y is equal to uyt minus half gt square. So clearly the sign convention that I have taken here is downwards negative and upwards positive. That is why the gravitational acceleration has been put up with a negative sign. Similarly, displacement along the x axis can be written as x is equal to uxt plus half axt square. But because acceleration along x axis is 0, there is no component of acceleration of gravity along the x axis. So ax becomes 0 and x simply becomes ux into t. Now we have two very straightforward equations, I have to simply eliminate time. So what I will do is I will put the value of t as x upon ux into the first equation. So once I do that, I put the value of t as x upon ux uh, everywhere in, uh, in the first equation. So I obtain this equation and now I will put the value of ux as u cos theta and u uh, as u sin theta because I know the components of u is u cos theta and u sin theta along horizontal and vertical respectively. So once we do that and we put all the values uh, into the equation, we simply have to simplify it and the final expression we obtain is y is equal to x tan theta minus gx square upon 2u square cos square theta. Now over here this is our equation of trajectory. It is a very important equation and this describes general trajectory of any object thrown on earth's surface as a projectile. Now this function clearly is a, uh, is a quadratic function. We have y is equal to ax square plus bx type equation here. So this function is quadratic in nature and we know from mathematics that quadratic functions have parabolic graph. So we have the trajectory of our projectile is parabolic in nature. So from here we prove that the path taken by a projectile is parabolic in nature. Now let us try to visually analyze the same equation. So we have y is equal to x tan theta minus gx square upon 2u square cos square theta as our equation of trajectory. And we know that a typical uh, trajectory of a projectile looks something like this, a parabola. Now you can see mathematically, one by one we will analyze. The first thing is that the coefficient of x square, which is also known as a uh, in mathematics, has a negative sign. So a is negative. So when a is negative, we clearly have a parabola facing downwards. Parabola is facing downwards. Now essentially here we have the parabola intersecting the x axis at origin and at x is equal to range value. So I can see here that at these two points clearly we have our parabola intersecting our x axis. So in this equation if I put y is equal to 0 which essentially means where does the parabola intersect the x axis and if I solve for x I will immediately get one of the solutions as origin x equal to 0 and the second solution as x equal to range. So I can directly obtain the range formula from the equation of trajectory also. So see how we do it. So if I put y is equal to 0 here, then I have this equation. I take x common and I ultimately obtain this. Now from here it is very very clear that either x is equal to 0 or this entire expression is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0, one equation, sorry, one solution is already obtained which is this point. 
and the second point will be when I solve this entire expression equal to 0 which comes out to be u square sin 2 theta by g which is also our range. It is very straightforward. Now another important thing you can see that at maximum height h max what is the value of x? So for that you can put the y value as h max which is u square sin square theta by 2g. Once you put y as that much and solve for x you will obtain the x value as range upon 2. So what we see from here is the maximum height of the entire parabolic motion is attained at half the range value or at exactly the midpoint of the range. Now this calculation you can do it by yourself. It will also help you to understand the concept better. There are several other things you can directly infer from the equation of trajectory which makes this equation very very important for you. So summarizing what we just learned, I can say that trajectory is a part described by any projectile in case of projectile motion. Now to calculate the equation of trajectory, what are the steps we have to do? We have to express positions along the y axis in terms of time, positions along the x axis in terms of time and then ultimately eliminate time from them to obtain a, a, a relationship between y and x or positions along y with positions along x. Like here we obtain in case of equation of trajectory which clearly is y is equal to x tan theta minus gx square upon 2u square cos square theta. So here there is no time, this simply talks about when the uh, x position of the projectile is some value then y position is essentially tied to that x value through this relationship. Now equation of trajectory can be directly used to calculate many things about the projectile motion as we saw in the previous slide. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.